In this video, we're overclocking the Intel Xeon W5 3435X all the way up to 5.2 gigahertz in five minutes or less using the Asus Pro WSW790E Sage SE motherboard and EK Pro Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only, so don't just outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a system, please have a look at the longer Scatterventure video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, go to the AI Tweaker menu. Set ASUS Multicore Enhancement to Enabled Remove All Limits. That will unleash the Turbo Boost 2.0 power limits and lets the CPU run at unlimited power indefinitely. Set CPU Core Ratio to By Core Usage. That enables us to configure a dynamic CPU core overclock as we can configure the maximum allowed ratio for a given number of active cores. Enter the By Core Usage submenu. Set Turbo Ratio Limit 1 to 52. Set Turbo Ratio Cores 1 to 12. Set Turbo Ratio Limit 2 to 51. Set Turbo Ratio Cores 2 to 14. Set Turbo Ratio Limit 3 to 50. Set Turbo Ratio Cores 3 to 16. Leave the By Core Usage submenu. Enter the specific core submenu. Here we can limit the maximum ratio for each CPU core individually, regardless of the By Core Usage configuration. We also define a fixed per core manual voltage for each P core. Set Core 0 specific ratio limit to 51. Set Core 1, 3, 5, 10, 12, and 15 specific ratio limit to 50. Set Core 2 specific ratio limit to 52. Set Core 4, 6, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 14 specific ratio limit to 49. Set Core 8 specific ratio limit to 48. For all cores, set Core specific voltage to manual mode. Set CPU Core 0, 2, and 12 voltage override to 1.25. Set CPU Core 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, and 15 voltage override to 1.215. Leave the specific core submenu. Set DRAM frequency to DDR5 6600. That increases the memory frequency from the base frequency of DDR5 4800 to DDR5 6600. I know this memory kit can run up to DDR5 6800 from earlier testing. However, I wasn't able to get it stable beyond DDR5 6600 with this CPU. Enter the AVX related controls submenu. Now we can adjust the CPU ratio offsets associated with various frequency licenses. The frequency licenses are tied to different workload levels ranging from the lightest for L0 to the heaviest of L3. Set AVX2, AVX512, and TML ratio offset to per core ratio limit to user specify. Set AVX2, AVX512, and TML ratio offset to 2. Leave the AVX related controls submenu. Enter the DRAM timing control submenu. Enter the memory presets submenu. That gives us access to memory tuning presets for specific memory ICs. The presets will adjust the memory timings and voltages. Since we have a V-Color memory kit with Hynix ICs, we use the profile for Hynix DDR5-6800 memory. However, the frequency will be the DDR5-6600 we set earlier. Select Load Hynix 6800 1.4V 8x16GB single rank. Select Yes. Leave the Memory Presets submenu. Leave the DRAM Timing Control submenu. Set Max CPU Cache Ratio to 27. That increases the mesh frequency to a maximum of 2.7 GHz. 27X is the maximum mesh ratio for the multi-tile Xeon W3400 processors. Set V-Core 1.8V into manual mode. Set CPU core voltage override to 2.3. Increasing the VCC in from 1.8V to 2.3V helps reduce the current draw at high power consumption, and that makes it easier on the VRM. Then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 43.02% in Y Cruncher. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5.2 GHz. When running Prime95, small FFTs with AVX disabled, 
The average CPU effective clock is 4837 megahertz with 1.223 volts. The average CPU temperature is 79 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 27.3 and 36.7 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 496.6 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and my patrons for the support and see you next time.